Oh, Mr. Shade. This is Paul, and I wanted to show you the interior. Um, we're sending you some samples. I think we already, I think Zach sent you a note about that. Uh, we've got what we call the ceiling boards. They're all installed. I'll work my way around the boat and show you this other side. We have to install a pocket over here. We'll have to put an oval hole here, four and a half inches tall and about 10 or 11 inches long that starts at the dash and comes back towards this line of screws, which are now in focus right here. They were out of focus because of my finger. Um, we have the floors in. Uh, the kick plate is laying over here on the bench. We have the kick plate for the for your feet. Um, we have the bottoms of the seats. And uh, this, uh, we'll have storage underneath. And this will have springs uh, on on the bottom of the seat so that'll and and all and your vinyl or well you won't use leather your vinyl will then uh staple to the bottom of this and so this will pick up as one unit springs uh and all and then we have over here same story back here uh for uh, for this uh for this seat this is your second cockpit Let's see if i can there we go this being a triple so now what you see here is there's some mahogany that'll be varnished and this pine right here will be have vinyl over it and this mahogany down here will be varnished as well and that's as near as we can tell that's the way it was well we actually have that seat back the original so we were able to determine that that's the correct way to do that that particular uh seat we have an engine compartment waiting on an engine the engine's over at Rayco, uh, all painted up and ready to go. I think you've seen pictures of it already. And then uh, here's our back seat. Same story. This will hold the cushions, uh, this bottom wheel. And uh, it will. Uh, you'll have throwable cushions back here that are about two inches thick. And then there's your back seat back. And these battens, this intuitively is backwards, but this is the way they did it. And um, they put the, they put all of the padding over the top of these. And matter of fact, so this that makes this one backwards. You're looking at actually the front side of that seat right here, uh, and that'll all be covered with uh, with the with the padding and so forth and, and vinyl. And that was the way it was done originally. Um, kind of backwards, intuitively it's backwards, but it is correct. As you can see, here were the battens on the original piece. And here's all here's some leftover padding and in the staples and so forth. So you can see, you can see that's how it was done. Uh, and when I talk about springs, these are the old springs. They're called Marshall springs. They're a bunch of individual coil springs. And we have uh, up here in front. I guess that's about everything back here. We are finally to a a. I wanted to get this to not a stopping point necessarily, but because we gotta keep going. <laughs> but to a point where I can say, okay, this is all the woodwork for the interior is done. And I'll just go ahead and show you the Marshall Springs as we go up through here into the uh, into the canvas room, which our canvas and vinyl is uh, uh, all picking up. So uh, this is uh, uh, not a problem though. We're, we'll, you'll be, you're first in line. So, uh, uh, these are the springs. These are the new Marshall Springs and of course they're all rolled up and compressed and this is actually quite heavy. So these are the Marshall Springs for uh, both the front seat and the back seat or, or the center seat and then of course again the very back has throwable cushions and that's the way it was done originally. So just wanted to give you an update on the interior. Uh, I'll, uh, I also, good news, um, I, you know, we had, uh, I, I, I moved some money off of an invoice uh, for, for prepping the boat for varnish and moved it to where we had to refasten the sides uh, so that I could show that, hey, this, with, with, the, with the exception of the, of the surprise of refastening the sides, we're fairly close to budget, or not fairly close to budget, however close we were. And so... Um, when I moved that, uh, I ended up not reapplying your about $1,700 that I moved over to the refashing. 
So you've got a seventeen hundred dollar credit right now. Um, and of course, when I when I do the interior, um, I'll put that seventeen hundred against the interior, and you're still going to have maybe a thousand or two. But basically, the last three weeks were work were uh, accidentally uh, prepaid. Um, so uh, anyhow. Uh, good news, uh, the bill's not going to be very big, and we're to the end of the all the woodwork on the interior, which was a lot. All right, I got to sit back down at my messy desk and get the billing done, and we'll talk to you soon.